Preseason 2022. Preseason's almost here. In case you missed it, we've been discussing our plans since earlier this year to prepare you for the changes that are coming in patch 11.23. Let's have a look. Things will be pretty early states when you see them first, so expect changes to things like icons, um, icons, item and effect names, visual and sound effects, stat values, and more as we continue to test and look to the feedback of PBE. Okay, cool. Dragons. Chemtech Drake, standard buff, grants bonus damage against enemies with more health than you, up to a 5% increase damage in, dam in damage per stack. Up to a 5% increase in damage per stack. Okay. That's a lot. 15% extra damage, maxed out if you get three of them. Oh, you can only get two, right? So yeah, you can only max out at... at um, well, you can get three if, the, if they get the first two Drakes and it's a soul, right? Dragon Soul. When a team obtains a Chemtech Dragon Soul, they receive a buff that grants them a brief second life after they die. Now, this needs more context. You can get four. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm saying you can get three. You can get four. Um, this needs more context. How long are you alive for? Let me change the music. Let me change the music. You can get four. Pro Analyst BTW. I said you can get three. And then I was like, oh no, you can't unless they take two, two drag. Whatever. But this depends how long this depends how long you're alive for. To be honest, this really depends how long you're alive for. If if it's five seconds, then that's a fuck ton. I think five seconds is a lot. Uh, and then also the next point point of context is like, are you dying? Medic, shut up. You Medic. said three, then two, Medic. and three again. Medic, you're and so were never correct. You're so annoying, Medic. Shut up. Shut up. Can I can I <laughs> Medic? Can I read the patch notes? You show that you're so annoying. Uh, okay, so it depends how long you're alive for, right? You can say five seconds. Are your is your HP ticking down like a Scion passive, or are you just alive for five seconds with everything? What are you restricted to? Can you use items? Can you use all abilities? Can you use ultimates? Um, all that shit. Um, yeah. There's a lot of things that actually matter, I think. Terrain. When the terrain transforms to the Chemtech Dragon, gas zones emerge in four jungle locations. Gas zones camouflage any champion within the zone. Camouflage enemies are not revealed by regular vision wars, but are revealed by control wars, scryers, and other things revealed in visible units. Cool. I like the dragons. I like the dragons. I think Chemtech and Hextech Dragon are they're fucking cool. Also, what is the cooldown on it, right? What is the cooldown? You know? That's also important. Standard buff. Hextech Drake grants attack speed and ability haste to the team that delivers the killing blow. Okay, that was unnecessary. Can't you just put this? Anyway. So you get attack speed and ability haste per Drake. 5 ability haste and 5% attack speed per Drake. That's quite strong. That's quite strong. That's actually pretty strong. Two Hextech Drakes are already really, really nice. Isn't 5% as and R per stack too much? Imagine 3 Drakes. Yeah, it's, it's quite a lot. Well, it's not a lot, but it's nice. You know, three drakes is 15, 15. Ah, yeah, it's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. Pretty decent. Depending on your champs, right? Depends on your champs. But every, most champs really like ability haste, and obviously some champs like attack speed. But if you're playing a champ like, let's say, Cassidy, who doesn't naturally build attack speed, um, the ability haste comes in, and the attack speed is just kind of QOL. Um, ability haste is the nicest thing of this. The attack speed is not a huge deal, depending on your champs, but ability haste is obviously really nice. Uh, like Azir, like if you're playing Azir, this is kind of nice. Um, Corky as well, decent. Uh, okay, Dragon Soul. When a team obtains the Hexa Dragon Soul, they gain a unique ability that adds a chain lightning slow to their basic attacks and abilities with a moderate cooldown. So they have like a static shift that slows. Does it do? Does it do bonus damage? They gain a unique ability that adds a chain lightning slow to their basic attacks. I guess that's bonus damage as well, right? Similar to Static Shift, I guess it builds up. I'm guessing it builds up as you move, right? Or as you like, you know, it charges or whatever, and then it hits every single time. Anyway, yeah. Uh, terrain, when the terrain transforms to the Hextech Drake, pairs, okay, here we go. Pairs of Hex Gates appear across the map, which allow champions to quickly travel from one location to the other. Hex Gates are activated with a brief channel that can be interrupted by stuns or damage before rapidly transporting a player across the map. I need more than this. I need more than this. I need to know where they are. The hex takes appear across the map, but where, 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 where do they appear? And what's they after activated after a brief channel? How long is the channel? I need to see it. Is there a video?
Where's the video? Red Mercy made a video about it. Oh, here we go. I'm guessing this is it. Is this it? Where you can go across the map like this? Is this it? So you can channel from here to here. Here to here and back. Oh, so these are only one, dire one directional and these are here to here. So you can go from entrance to... This is it. So you can... These ones are obviously just for speed at a base. It's fake. This is fake. Clickbait. Oh, fantastic. Rocker, Red Mercy. All right. Um, anything else? Is there anywhere else? Uh, Hextech portals. Riot video. Yeah, I know the Riot video, but the Riot video doesn't really show anything. I know the Riot video, yeah, but it doesn't show anything. It doesn't show shit, the Riot video. It just shows this. That's all it shows. It's just pictures. That's it. Just pictures. Yeah, anyway. Okay, when we know when we know where it goes and how fast and all that shit, that's more interesting. Anyway, let's move on. Objective bounties activate only when a team is sufficiently behind and are highlighted on the minimap for both teams. If a, te if a losing team takes an objective with an active bounty, every member of the team receives an objective gold from the bounty gold. Okay, cool. Uh, receives the objective bounty gold. Cool. Objective bounties are calculated based on four factors. XP lead, gold lead, dragon lead, and turret lead. The base amount of additional gold gained by taking an objective with active bounty are as follows. Additional gold. So this is additional gold you get. So right now you get 1,500 gold from killing Baron, right? You get 300 each. So it becomes 2k. It becomes 2k, so you get 400 each. So you get an extra 100 gold each per Baron, right? This is not each, right? This is, this is total, right? This must be 500 gold total. This can't be 500 gold each when the Baron itself gives 300 gold each. This is total, yeah, total. Uh, dragon is 500 as well. Jesus. Jesus. Tra but Dragon doesn't even give gold. Dragon, what does Dragon give? Gives 25 gold, right? Doesn't it? Does Dragon give 25 gold? Dragon gives 100 gold, does it? No, it doesn't. Dragon gold, lol. No. Dragon doesn't give 75 to 300. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Um, okay, so that's 500 extra, which will be each, right? So this is additional. So you add it on to whatever the dragon gold is worth, and then it is split. I swear dragon gave 25 gold. What the fuck? How much gold does dragon give? I'm mad now. Dragon monster. I swear dragon gives 25 gold. It does give 25 gold. Yeah, it does, right? It does give 25 gold. Twenty-five gold. I knew it. I knew it. Stop fucking, dude. You guys fuck with my brain. I swear to God. Okay, outer turret two fifty gold, inner turret four hundred gold, base turret four hundred gold. Mm. Okay. Cool. I mean, this is the base amounts, right? I, I I don't know how high it can go. We're talking like this is basically like if you have a bounty as a player, your base amount is one fifty, right? One fifty gold shut down, but it can go up to seven hundred gold. Uh, so I think that's the kind of scale you're looking at. My guess. Is it 25 each? No, it's not. It's 25 total. Dragon is 25 total. It's the only the killer of the dragon gets 25 gold. That's it. So it'll be 500 each. So you all get 100 gold for killing dragon, basically. And the person who kills it will get 125 gold as a base amount. Which is pretty decent. They're pretty decent. Right? As the losing team falls further behind, the beast base amounts can increase by up to an additional 60%. Holy shit. Not bad. What's that? That's um, that's eight hundred. It can go up to eight hundred gold. It can go up to eight hundred gold. Jesus, that's a lot. That's a lot for dragon, especially, right? You get dragon, you get an extra eight hundred gold for your team. 
That's not bad. What is this link? What is this? <gasps> Leaked! Wait, it is correct. Wait, it wasn't a bait. What the fuck? You just click it and you're... What the fuck? It just sucks you in and it puts you there? Holy shit, that's it though. That's all it shows, right? Hmm. Interesting. It wasn't fake. Red Mercy was right. It was correct, the picture. It was actually correct. Wow, now I feel bad. It's actually true. Jesus, I wonder, first of all, what the cooldown is, and second of all, um, it's, it has arrows going back and forth, right? So I'm guessing he can go back through this portal. He can go back through the portal. And both teams can use them, right? So I could get out and get in. Jesus, man. This is really fucking weird. That's really fucking weird. Anyway. CD? I don't know. I don't know what the CD is, but yeah. That's really weird. You can get flanked pretty fucking easily. Anyway, I guess you have to ward them. Objective bounties have a 15 second warning period when coming online and a 15 second lingering duration when falling off. This can be expended if the te losing team remains in combat with an objective bounty active. Cool. Items. Oh, some new items. Holy fuck. Crown of the Shattered Queen. 70 AP, 250 health, 600 mana, 20 ability taste. You are safeguarded. Reducing incoming damage. Oh yeah, this is the, the mage item. Reducing incoming damage by 50%. Persisting for 1.5 seconds after taking champion damage. While well, safeguarded, gain 10 to 40 AP. Regain safeguard if you haven't taken damage 40 seconds. Mythic passive, plus 1% move speed, plus 50 health. Mm. Wow, this item will be pretty strong on some champs. 600 mana with haste, AP, AP per level when you're safeguarded, and damage reduction with move speed and health. Rise will be really strong, right? Rise is going to pick that item for sure. Silas is going to get that item. Um, I think something LS said actually when I was watching his breakdown was... Their, their intention is to give mages this item, but I actually think melee mi mid lane champs are going to build it, right? Like Kassadin, Silas, uh, Ryze, yeah, 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 you guys know it. Stuff like this, these champs will build it, which I think is correct, actually. Uh, Lissandra might build it, yeah, but I think there's already a few obvious champs that will build it. Um, I don't know if it's viable on champs like Anivia. I think Anivia could benefit from this item pretty well. Anyway. Uh, Diana, yeah, maybe Diana, not too sure. Yeah, anyway. Even Trial, 200 health, 20 ability haste, uh, 30 armor, 30 MR. After mobilizing champions or being immobilized, cause, in, cause that target and all nearby enemies to repent, increasing damage they take by 12%. Grants all other legendary items, 5 armor and MR. I mean, that's just an obvious item, isn't it? This is just good for top lane champs. This is good for top lane champs. Tanks, right? Um, Singed was the one that they used as an example, which was pretty good. It's basically tanks. Um, supports could build this item as well, right? Supports can easily build this item. Top lane, top lane tanks and supports. Um, Vladimir? I don't know if... No, Vladimir can't build this, I think. Can Vladimir build... No way will Vladimir build this. Maybe he will. No, he won't, he won't. He won't. This doesn't even have AP on it, man. Are you crazy? This is tank item. Tank item. Yeah, tanks. It's just tank item. Tank item. It's good for shit like Singed as well, yeah. I don't know, you can be creative. Maybe it works on champs like Orn and shit as well. I don't know. Anyway, Frostfire Gauntlet. Are they changing it? 350 health, 25 armor, 25 magic resist, 20 ability haste, immobilize, take damage, blah, 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 nearby any enemies, yeah. Snowbind, attacks, create a false field, cool, mythic banshee, grants 100 health and 6 percent size. Are they changing it? I don't know the numbers off the top of my head. Are they changing the stats on Frostfire Gauntlet? That's basically what they're doing, I guess? Yeah, Renee. Just gets nerfed? Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I don't know what the stats are off the top of my head. Changing emulate a bit. 12 plus 1% bonus magic damage per second to new enemies. Same stats. Oh, they just added this. I thought that...
Mm. Is that what they're adding to a lot of champs? They're adding, they're adding loads of shit to random items. Refuel, moving and dealing damage fills up the chem tank. At 100 stacks, your next basic attack deals magic damage to all nearby enemies. Increased against... Okay, dope. Dope. Mm, dope. Yeah, they're buffing tanks a lot, right? They're just, they're just, I think, I think what Riot has done is they've realized that everyone is saying, everyone has basically said Return to Riot. Return of the Oa. Everyone has been saying to Riot recently that there's too much damage in the game, right? They're saying that, um, they're saying that there's too much damage in the game, right? And they're like, oh, I'm getting bursted, I'm getting one shot, uh, there's too much damage, too much burst. They added a defensive AP item, they've added a tank item, now they're giving the tank items more, uh, not more, but like different features, you know? Uh, okay, next one. Uh, Winter's Approach, 400 health, 500 mana, 15 ability haste. Or gain bonus health equal to 8% mana. So this is just like a mana immune item that you're going to build as well. This is like another rise item, isn't it? What is this? Strike a target with an ability or an attack, consume a charge, and gain 3 bonus mana. Double the... Wait, is this, a, is this a tier build item? Oh, never mind. This is a tier build item. It's a tank... It's, yeah, it's a tank tier item. Dude, I can see... I can fucking see Ezreal's building this. I can see it. I can see it. I don't know why, but I can see it. I can see Ezreal's building this anyway. Tank Ezreal with this and Frozen Heart. Can you imagine? I know it's going to happen. Uh, fucking Kassadin, Ezreal. They're all going to swap to this. You can't stack tier items. Yeah, I know. They're going to change it. They're going to change it. The Ezreal. Okay, here's my pitch, yeah? Ezreal. Ezreal is going to have... Wait, is this a mythic? These are mythics, right? Yeah, they're mythics. Is it mythic? No, this is not a mythic. This is a legendary, right? It's a legendary, right? It's a legendary. Of course it's a legendary. It's a tier build. So this is Ezreal build. Ready? It's going to be Frostfire Gauntlet. Frostfire Gauntlet into Winter's Approach into Frozen Heart. Change my mind. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. With Grasp. With Grasp. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just spewing random shit right now. Zero DPS build. Yeah, yeah it's mana build. Mana, mana Esriel. It's blue Esriel. It's blue Esriel. Strike an ability to an attack. Consume a charge. Cool. Yeah, it's a tier. Cool. I don't know. Maybe Rice builds this. I think Seraph is already really, really, really strong. Uh, Fimble Winter. 400 health. 860 mana. 50 military gain. Oh, this is basically the same shit. But for... More mana? Oh wait, Everlasting, Immobilizing or Slowing, melee only, an enemy champion consumes 3% of current mana and grants a shield for 3 seconds, absorbing damage, shield increases by 80% if more than one enemy is nearby. Immobilizing or Slowy, uh, dude, this is Kassadin, this is Kassadin, this is Kassadin, this is the upgraded version, yeah, it's Kassadin, it's, wait, this is the upgraded version of this? Yeah, it's Kassadin, it's Kassadin, it's Kassadin, when he hits you with your fucking E, melee only, a shield, nah, it's Kassadin, it's Kassadin. It's Kassadin. Cool. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of creativity here. There's a lot of tank items. Dude, Riot is slotting in a lot of tank items here. They're slotting in a lot of, a lot of tank items here. Yeah, I, guys, I know, I know. Sh guys, shut up. I didn't read it. Transformed into Fimble Winter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's pretty cool. Axiom Arc, 55 AD, 10 Lethality, 25 Ability Haze. Refresh whenever a champion dies within 3... Second of having damaged them. Refund 25% of your... Oh yeah, this is the one they want to do for assassins, right? Where you get ultimate cooldown shit. I mean, they're trying to push that already with ultimate hunter and ability haste. Um, whenever a champion dies in three seconds of having damage, refund 25% of your ability's total cooldown. Wait, is there a cooldown on this? Whenever a champion dies in 33 seconds of having damaged them, refund 25... There must be like an internal cooldown on that, right? Is there, is there an internal cooldown on this? There must be an internal cooldown, right? There is no internal cooldown? No? What, so if I get like... If I get... What, if I get like two assists within three seconds, my ult's back up almost? I know it's, it's probably 25% of the ability's total cooldown. Yeah, no. What the fuck? Yeah, that's pretty crazy. That will have its position. That's kind of like the action revive, you know? It's like in certain situations, it's going to be really strong. Like if I'm... Cartus, Dude, shut up. You're not going to build this on Cartus. Lux permalt. I see you guys are so delusional. 
Kazakhs? Yeah, it wouldn't be bad on Kazakhs. Would not be bad on Kazakhs. Uh, what what uses this? I mean, these three stats are basically every assassin, right? Talon, Zed, Kiana, uh, Kazakhs. Every assassin uses this shit. All right. Anyway, interesting. Uh, GP. Yeah, GP as well. Yeah, GP would be pretty good with that item. GP, Estrial. No, nah, I think this item's too. I think Estrial's not really. Don't really need this item for Estrial. Would be good on. Uh, would be good on. Kaisa. Yeah, Kaisa would be good, especially if this has a pickaxe build, like pickaxe serrated dirk. Obviously, it has ability haste, so it probably has like a call fields in there. But if it has like a serrated dirk, that'll be really good for Kaisa for early Q evolve. Um. Just makes our team fighting quite quite strong, actually. Anyway. Depends how late in the game it is. Cause it, anyway, never mind. Let's not get into it. Shadow Flame, 80%, of, uh, 80 ability power, 250 health. Damage champions benefits from 10 to 20 magic pen based on the target's current health. Damage to champions benefits from 10. Okay. Gain the max penetration if the target was recently affected by shields. Yeah, this is the shield. This is the serpent's rank for AP champs. Cool. It doesn't have ability haste on it, which is kind of annoying. 80 ability power and 250 health. Hmm. Interesting. There's so much in this. Jesus fuck. Cosmic Drive. Uh, wait, it didn't have five percent move speed, right? Wait, what did Cosmic Drive had? Cosmic Drive was like a CDR item, and if you had a certain amount of AP, you got CDR, right? Wasn't that Cosmic Drive? And you got bonus AP and CDR, right? Wait, what the fuck did Cosmic Drive give? Uh, Cosmic. It gave um. Dude, I don't have fucking build this item. It gave, uh, yeah, this shit. And if you have at least 106 AP, you get 20 ability haste. And, okay, and you get move speed as well. Cool. Yeah, that was it. So now, they didn't change the stats. They just added 5% base move speed to it. And after damaging champions with three separate attacks or spells, you can... Wait, they put face rush on it. Wait, they put face rush and they gave it 40 AP? They gave it a mini face rush and 40 AP? Wait, that, I think that's pretty strong, isn't it? Are they upping the cost of this item now? Are they changing the cost? Shouldn't it be a little bit more expensive? I wonder if they're increasing the cost. Seems pretty strong. Yeah, Vladimir would do really well with this item. EF would also do really well with this item. This is... Rise would do great as well. That's a lot of ability haste. Lilia? Yeah, Lilia. Yeah, a lot of champs would benefit from this. That's pretty cool. Minus 20 base. Minus 20 base AP. Oh yeah, it lost. Yeah, yeah. it lost uh, 80, uh, 20 AP. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. No, you're right. That's cool. I mean, they're, they're adding loads of different shit to the game, basically, right? Like um, mages with defensive items, uh, melee, melee tier items, uh, AP shield reduction items, phase rush items. They're adding a lot of shit to the game. Pen items on current health. A lot of, a lot of different mechanics, kind of, um, from items, right? Uh, horizon focus, 110 ability power, 150 health. Now includes slows to trigger horizons for horizon focus. Mmm. Rada's Crystal Scepter also works. I mean, I've seen some Zoe's build this item, but I, I think this is more of like a Serath, Serath item, isn't it? Mm. I'm done being an AD carry main absolute dog shit game. What is the current what is the current stats on that shit? I don't know stats off my top of my head. Uh, is there a stats change? 150 in AP. Okay, it's five AP down. Build path is so weird, but they gave it 150 health now, so I guess there's what like a ruby crystal thrown in there now. I guess it's like needless hex tech, ruby crystal, and combined cost is lower. Hmm. All right, demonic embrace, stealing ability power burns, convert two percent of your bonus health to ability power. They're changing every single item. What is this shit, man? Or they're they're just like editing it. It's the it's the fucking 2021. Rework of items, rework again, kind of. Um, Seraphs and Braves, 80, uh, 86 mana, blah, 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 gain ability haste, 1.3% mana, restore health equal to 40% mana spent, up to. Wait, what? Restore health equal to 40% of mana spent, up to 25 to 50, plus 10% ability power per cast. Wait, what? Restore health. 
Yeah, it's Catalyst, right? Isn't that Catalyst? Dude. <laughs> Dude, everyone's saying Cassidy's OP with the new items. But you can't really build this with the new items, right? Because this is also a tier item. Yeah. Casio, yeah. Wait, Riscott, we believe the first Ritz Riscott spawn is too impactful in deciding the outcome of the early game. So we're reducing its importance and resolving the encounter more quickly. Now that it's squishier, you or your enemy can defeat it more easily and ensure it back off safety sooner. Back off safety sooner. First Ritz Riscott will now have 35% reduced health and grants 80% reduced XP. And it's been slightly reduced in size. What? 80% reduced XP? Grab her buff. 80% reduced XP. The nine wins worlds. First strike, damaging enemy champion with a wait, what is this? I went way too far. Way too far. Force of nature, 350 health, 70 magic resist, 5 percent move speed. Absorb taking magic damage from enemy champions grants a stack of steadfast. Immob enemy immobilizing effects grants initial two stacks. Dis dissipate. 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 Well, it's six stacks of steadfast. Take 20% reduced magic damage and gain 10% increase, increase move speed. Knight's Foul. This item completely disappeared from the game, actually, didn't it? Knight's Foul. 400 health, 10 ability haste, 150% base regen, active, pledge, designate an ally. Cool. While your worthy allies nearby, redirect 10% of their damage, take to you, and heal for 8% damage dealt by your worthy ally. If they have less than 30% health, the damage reduction is 20%. Adaptive Helm. 35% healing reduction. Health reduction can be massive, though. Some Nunu and Shako shit. I mean the first two crabs or the first one you take, I wonder. I think it means the first two crabs. It's just a it's just a, um it's just a crab change. I don't think it's a first crab change. You know S Knights our shit when SOFM doesn't buy it? Yeah. It's those SOFM's main on leasing, wasn't it? He went he went uh he went what was it? He went uh Warrior into Knights Vow into Black Cleaver or something. Or Dead Man's Plate. Abyssal Mask, 400 health, 30 magic resist, 10 ability haste, unmake, cursed nearby enemy champions using their magic resist. For each cursed enemy, gain 7 magic resist. Wait, they're just changing this item. Cursed nearby enemy champions using magic resist. It's like a Mumu passive or what? For each cursed enemy, gain 7 MR. What is that, just like a debuff to anyone around you? It's a, it's a fucking a Mumu passive. They put a Mumu passive on an item. I guess it's just a debuff. How much do you reduce their magic resist by? Is it by 7? I guess you're taking it from them or something. What about 80 carry items? Yeah, they don't really exist in here. Little tempo, gain attack speed for 6 seconds when striking at least one enemy champion with each attack. The effect stacks up to 6 times. While this effect is at its cap, also gain attack range and increase your attack speed cap to 3.0? Huh? Gain attack speed for 6 seconds when striking at least one enemy champion with each attack. Stack. Wait, the fucking rage blade on a rune. It's a rage blade. The effect stacks up to six times. You get insanely bonus attack speed. It caps out, gives you bonus range, and then increase the attack speed cap. Holy fuck. That's a lot. Dude, fucking uh, spacebar cogmall holders are jizzing in their pants when they read this, man. Are you kidding me? Spacebar holders love this. Love this change. Glacial Augment. Immobilizing an enemy champion will cause three glacial rays to emanate from them to from them towards you and other nearby champions, creating frozen zones for a few seconds that slow enemies 40% and reduce their damage by 15% against your allies. Holy fuck, Glacial Augments is completely changed. They said they wanted to change um, a lot of the inspiration tree. Immobilizing three glacial rays that emanate from them towards you and other nearby champions, they'll create frozen zones. That's, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Slowing enemies, reducing the damage dealt. Hmm. There's gonna be a lot of creativity in these items and these and in, in these fucking changes. What is this? First strike, damaging an enemy champion with an ability or an attack before they do so grants five gold. And first strike for three seconds, causing your attacks and abilities to deal an extra twelve percent extra damage against champions and granting a hundred percent of that damage. Huh? <gasps> what? Wait. So if I hit them first. 
I get 5 gold. And it causes my attacks to deal 12% extra damage. And give 100% of my damage dealt as gold? Sorry, what? Am I like... Am I like smoking something here? Let me read that again. Damaging an enemy before they damage you will give you 5 gold. And first strike. Causing for 3 seconds, your attacks and abilities will deal 12% extra damage. And they'll grant 100% of that damage dealt as gold. So if I'm Fiora and I Q, auto E, auto Q, and I get my damage dealt as gold, are you like, are you joking? Imagine, imagine Fiora top into a melee matchup. 12% of your damage. Yeah, I know, but the thing is, if I Q, auto E, auto Q, I get the damage dealt to me. So what's the internal cooldown of first strike? What is the internal cooldown of first strike? Nuggery is crying in joy. Three seconds. No, it lasts for three seconds, but what's the cooldown? Because obviously this rune will not scale very well. I mean, I guess it could scale well if the game is even, right? If the game is even. It could scale well. So if I'm Fiora and I do... Mm. All the damage. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm trying to work it out in my head how much value this gives, right? It really depends on the cooldown. It scales like a motherfucker, yeah. It, it depends on the cooldown. It depends on the cooldown. Because if I'm playing Fiora top, like let's imagine Fiora into GP, right? Or Fiora into Irelia, or any fucking mini matchup top. Because I think this is more of a top lane rune, unless you're playing like... Yeah, this is a top lane rune. Even then you don't have Conqueror, right? Which is really important for trades. When would you, when would you take this? Because, yeah, 500 damage is 60 gold. Because you get the 10%, 2%, and then the 5 gold initially. But 600 damage level 1 is obviously way too much. So it really depends on the cooldown. It really depends on the cooldown of the rune. If the cooldown is like... 15 seconds... I don't know. There's probably someone can make a spreadsheet for it. Someone can make a spreadsheet for it. As to when it like gets fucking insane value. But yeah, I think this is into tanks. I think Krep was right. It's into tanks. Twelve percent extra damage against champions. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's probably going to tank matchups. Range champs, it's probably not giving that much value. Isn't this busted on supports for more income? I mean, the supports don't do that much damage, right? Unless you're playing like a uh, Zerath bot and you're farming them. Also depends, like, if I'm playing... Like Zerath or, or Velkos support or Brand or whatever the fuck. How does this work? Am I missing something here? So let's say I'm playing Zerath, right? I'm playing Zerath, yeah? And I hit my Q. This procs first strike. So now I have to hit my W to actually get gold off the first strike, right? The, the initial Q hit is only procking the rune, it. right? I can't believe it's it. not actually adding to the rune. So... I think champs like Zerath would struggle. It would have to be a combo champ, right? Like like Brand. Or yeah, you can W and then Q first. Maybe Brand would do would do pretty well with this rune. But then again, like Brand. I feel like the damage spells are just so much better. Like uh in lane. 
Like, if you're playing... If I'm playing... Like, okay, imagine you're laning against me, yeah? And you're playing Zerath, right? Or, or Velkos, or whatever the fuck. And you're not playing Comet, Scorch. And you're playing First Strike, which I imagine... Is this shit in Inspiration Tree? What tree is this in? They don't know. I'm guessing this is Inspiration Tree. Yeah, these champs are lane oppressive, right? Mm, so you're gonna go e a lot more even in lane, but maybe you get more value out of the gold itself? I don't know. Because you can't roll... I mean, I guess you could go Inspiration Sorcery, but... It has damage, I think it's Precision Tree. Yeah, it all depends on the cooldown. In my, in my books, it all depends on the cooldown. 12% extra damage is good, yes. All depends on the cooldown, though, because these champs are poke lanes, so I don't know about supports. Um, yeah, I don't know. It would have to be tested. Have to be tested. And the risk, risk, risk cutler change, that's it. Cool. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> It's not that... Actually, here's my base take. Apart from the portals on the map, this is not a huge preseason, to be honest. It's not a massive preseason. There's like four new items. I can't wait for Riot to fail to balance the game even after preseason so that I can have another three months of pain, daft pain. I don't think there's... I don't think this is a big preseason, to be honest. Actually, pretty small, I think. Apart from... If you... The biggest things is just the portals on the map. It's same dragons, just two more added, a little bit of RNG, extra to the game, and then just new, um, what the fuck, new interaction with items. Yeah, I don't know, reading this shit doesn't really register in my brain, I need to play this shit. I need to play with these items, and then I can tell you guys whether they'll be strong or not. I can't whip out my fucking calculator out my pocket and tell you guys how broken these items are, how weak they are, because I would need to test them. Um, I would need to test them. Basically TLDR, right? TLDR, there's a lot of new items, a lot of new interactions. Uh, initial thoughts is that um, AP, ch AP champs are getting a lot of, a lot of, a lot of nice items to um, build into certain comps. Also, lethal tempo looks a bit sketchy. I don't know what the fuck that is. Uh, they just put rage blade in an item and gave you bonus attack range. And uh, first strike is, first strike is. Um, I don't know where that will sit. Top right, yeah. Kind of like Klepto, yeah. I just want to know what the cooldown of, of uh, First Strike is. I just want to know what the cooldown is. I just want to know what the cooldown of First Strike is. And also what the what the Dragon Soul is doing with the Chemtech shit. Because you get a second life, right? How long you're alive for? Is your health ticking down? And what you can and can't use? If you can use everything and you're alive for 5 seconds and your health doesn't tick down like a Sion passive, then... Um, I have no idea. Sounds pretty OP to me. 